Congratulations, Colt! You've won a billion dollars! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it! I've always been poor my whole life! This is gonna change everything! I don't think I can breathe! I don't think I can- Calm down, man! Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine! I'm just gonna- uh. Oh no, so someone- we, we need someone here stat! Oh, oh, what happened? Colt, are you alright, man? Doug? Dad? I can't believe it, Colt! You've won a billion dollars! What? Yeah, dude, you really did it! You won all that money! None of us can believe it! Wait, no! No, 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 that didn't really happen! That was just a dream! It wasn't a dream, son. Oh, hold on a second. Is it, is it true? Did I really win? Uh, yeah, you won and then you passed out five seconds later. But it's true. Here you go. Take it. This is a check for a billion dollars. Yes, it is. Everything's gonna change for you now. I can't believe this. I'm not gonna be poor anymore. But just be careful, all right? I've seen it happen all the time. This money changes people. Yeah, maybe. But it's not gonna change me or my family. Yeah, dude! He won! We gotta order a limo right away! Don't don't speak too soon. I'm just warning you right now ahead of time. I hope it all works out for you. What on earth is going on here? Doug, what's happening? Oh, I hope you don't mind, man. I wanted to throw a party before we all moved into our mansions. Moved into our mansions? What are you talking about? Yeah, we're rich, dude. We're billionaires. We gotta start acting like them. Doug, this is our home. We've grown up here our whole lives. You have a lot of memories here. Not just about to leave for some big fancy mansion. Ha, oh, come on, man. You're, you'll lighten up soon. Don't worry. We can make new memories. We're finally gonna live like rich people now, you know? Uh, last time I checked, Doug, I won the money. Yeah, but we're your family, dude. If you're rich, we're all rich, you know? That's how it works. Um, uh, actually, that's not how it works. The check was written out to me, so the money's going in my account. So what? You're just gonna start acting selfish with it? If you cared about us, then you'd do this. No, no, that's not it. I'm not acting selfish. I'm gonna take care of my family and make them happy, obviously. I love you guys. All right, so you're here to hear, folks. It's settled. We're getting mansions. No, that's not what I meant. Thanks, little bro. I appreciate it. Maybe that game show host was right. Oh, please, leave me alone. Nah, I'm not gonna leave you alone until you leave my town, buddy. And this is my home. Sure it is. Look at you. You're literally homeless. You don't have a home. Hey, what's going on over here? Leave this guy alone. Yeah, what's it to you, huh? Mind your business, pal. Oh, wait, wait a second. Hey, you're that one guy that won all that money, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Look, you need to start treating people better, okay? This guy's just minding his own business, and you're being a jerk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever. Look, uh, so you have money, like you said, right? Uh, we should, uh, you know, hang out and be friends or something like that. What? Yeah, yeah, you heard me. I'm, I'm a pretty cool guy, you know? <laughs> I could make, like, a, you know, a portfolio or something about it. This literally means nothing. I'm not gonna be friends with you. Here, have this. I hope this helps. What? There's gotta be, like, a half a million dollars in here. Are you serious? Yeah, money changed my life, and I hope it changes yours, too. Oh, I could cry. I could I am crying. Thank you so much. What? You just gave this guy a bunch of money? I've been working so hard every day and I don't have that much money. And what, now he's just gonna be richer than me? Dude, why are you still here? Don't you have something better else to do? I know I do. Good luck with everything, man. I hope it works out for you. Thank you again. What is that sound? You have got to be kidding me. Yeah! <laughs> Doug, you need to stop right now! Yeah, this is so fun! Ah! Oh, man! That was so much fun, dude! This car is totally totaled, though, now. Doug, are you okay? Yeah, man, I'm fine. This car isn't, though, that's for sure. <laughs> What on earth is wrong with you? You damaged the house. And that car was super expensive. Yeah, well, guess what, man? We can just buy another one. Who cares? We're rich. Don't you remember? It doesn't just work like that, Doug. Plus, I'm rich, so I have to go buy a new car. Don't you remember we were poor about like a week ago? Yeah, but that was like a week ago, dude. That was last week me's problem. And all I know is I need a new car. Maybe one that's not as cheap as this one. You're not going to get a new car. What? Stop being so cheap, dude. You're like a billionaire now. Look, I I know how hard it is to make money, okay? It's not just gonna be easy. We were blessed with this opportunity with me winning this billion dollars. It's a chance most people don't have. We should be grateful and start saving this money. You're acting like a total idiot right now. Listen, dude, I need some cash to go fix up this car. Are you gonna give it to me or not? I cannot believe... Oh, hold on a second. Hey, Tyler, what's up? Cha, yeah, hey, man, do you, like, wanna hang out or something? Yeah, that'd be great. I could use a break from home, that's for sure. 
<laughs> oh man, I haven't laughed that hard in like weeks. Man, Tyler, it's really good to hang out. Ja, man, I always have a great time. I just want the best for you, dude. You're my best friend. Yeah, I'm just grateful that you're still normal. What do you mean by that? When I won this billion dollars, the game show host said that it can change people. And I think it actually is. Yeah, dude, I don't really care about your money. It's the personality that matters, you know? As long as you're the same old person, I'm gonna be the same old person. Yeah, you have no idea how good it feels to have one friend in this whole world that I can actually trust. I feel like I can't even trust my family. How sad is that? Yeah, uh, speaking about family, what's up, bro? Oh, hey, Sal. Yo, what's up, nerds? Hey, Cole, congratulations on the big win, dude. Billion dollars. Sweet. Yeah, thanks. You know, you really deserve the money, man. Yeah, you know how Colt is. He's always a hard worker. He 100% deserved it. Plus, wasn't your family, like, super broke? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, why don't we go out and have some fun, you know? Get up the to town, get some food. I don't know, hit up the arcade, play some video games or something. Yeah, or we can even just, like, walk through the park, hang out, like, you know? No, that's lame. Why don't we get, like, an Uber Black and just hit the town? Uh, yeah, that sounds fun. I can make that happen. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's go do that then. Can you make sure we get, like, a stretch limo or something? Something cool, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'll see what I can do. All right, so we made it into town, and what are we gonna do now? Oh, this place looks pretty sweet let's check it out clothing store okay well, i guess so if you want to do some shopping yeah i'll probably take one of everything in the store extra large size you know because like the guns are so big wait what tyler what is your brother doing oh uh, i don't know dude so you really want everything in the store yeah and make this guy pay for it he's treating us tonight what saw that's not fair dude what are you doing what trying to have some fun man we were supposed to hit the town remember <sighs> I can't believe this. Hey, hey, Cole. I'm sorry, man. I don't know why my brother's acting like that. I didn't know he was going to do that. I promise. Really? You had no idea this is what he wanted to do the whole time? Yeah, I seriously didn't. I didn't even tell him that you were coming over to hang out. Oh, well, that's fine. Whatever. I'm starting to get used to people treating me like this anyways. But at least I've got one friend I can count on. Doug, you are out of your mind. I made Colt get that private jet so that I could take it to Paris this weekend. Paris? You want to go to Paris? Dude, I want to go to Greece. You can't be serious. What is going on, you guys? What? You bought a private jet? Uh, yeah, yeah we, we clearly, clearly need, need one. one. By the looks of it, it looks like we'll need another one. You guys are unbelievable. You stole my money to buy a private jet, and now you want another one? This is my money, and it's just tearing us apart. Look at you two arguing over a private jet. Well, no, we're now arguing about buying two private jets. Yeah, come on, Colt. Keep up. This is so unfair. What's not fair is that you're holding all all the money and you're not giving us any so we just had to take it i'm so over this i don't want to be near any of this right now my family's just acting like total selfish brats i don't think i can handle it anymore i'm sorry man everyone seems to just be treating you so differently now whatever it's gonna be fine i guess you know i'm just gonna use this money to help people i don't want this money turning into something to fight over and people being mean to each other it's here to help people yeah and plus like you won the money so you should do what you want you did win like a billion dollars so it isn't a big deal if you give some away. It's not about how much I give away, really, either. I just want people to appreciate it, you know? Well, clearly it seems to be an issue if your own family isn't even appreciating it. Yeah, I know. Wait, do you hear that? It sounds like my car alarm. Uh, Sal, what are you doing? Going for a ride. Later, nerd. Wait, come back here. Wow, I guess Sal really wanted the car. Dude, are you gonna do anything? Your brother just stole my car. Yeah, I know. He's such a jerk. Good thing you just buy another one. What? Yeah, I said good thing you could just buy another one. Thought you understood what I was going through. You can't just go out and buy new cars every single day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just, just relax, all right? I'm your friend here. Yeah, I thought you were. Oh, there you are, Colt. Finally. Listen, I need more money, all right? I wanted to go buy a third pool. A third pool? Yeah, man. Just in case the other two get a little boring, you know? This one's gonna have a slide. It's gonna be cool. You're gonna go down it, and you're gonna ramp up and then splash in. I'm sorry, Doug. You're not getting any more money. It's all over. What do you mean we're not getting any more money? You can't be serious, can you? I'm serious. I want you and Dad to go. I want you to earn your own money. I won this, and I'm gonna do whatever I want with it. Wow. You're gonna turn your back on your own family, huh? Look at you. Can you really sleep at night knowing who you are? And look at you, Doug. Can you sleep at night knowing how selfish and bratty you've become? Everything in here we bought with my money. And I think it's time you go get your own. Yeah, well, guess what, man? I'm not leaving, okay? All this stuff is mine. I already bought it. Fine, you want everything so much? It's all yours. Just take it. I will. You'll see, I don't even need you. Well, good luck paying your bills. 
because I'm not doing it anymore. Gold, I've got to say, your generosity knows no limits. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I was happy to build this hospital for everyone. Your old one definitely needed to be replaced. This has to be one of the nicest things anyone has done on the history of this planet. Oh, I don't know if that's accurate. This hospital is going to save so many lives, help all the sick people in this town. After that last tornado hit, we didn't think we'd be able to rebuild. Well, it's my mission to help people. I want all that money and I want to give it back. Use my money for good. Well, you help rebuild this town and change the lives of so many people. You really are a hero. Oh, thanks, Mr. Mayor. Glad this money is finally helping people. Man, what a long day. What? Whose car is that? Someone breaking into my house? <sighs> All right. Colt, don't be scared. Everything will be fine. What are you doing in my house? Ah! I swear, I'll call the cops. Get lost. Wait, wait, wait. Just relax. <sighs> Hold on a second. You look familiar. Yes. Remember a year ago, you helped a homeless man on the street. You gave him over a half a million dollars. Yeah, I remember. What are you doing breaking in my house? Uh, I'm sorry. I saw what you did on the news and I wanted to come. Thank you. That's all. Thank me. Yes, of course. That money you gave me, I was able to turn my life around and actually turn it into millions of dollars. I wanted to come and give you that money back. You, you don't have to give me the money back. I gave it to you without intention of getting anything in return. I know, but I wanted to thank you for everything you've done and this was the least I could do. Well, why don't you just donate the money instead? Donate it to the town. There are people here that could really use it. Really? You don't want this money back? No, I don't. Wow. Okay, sure. I'll, uh, I'll donate the money. Looks like you're really doing a lot for this town. Well, I'm trying to do a lot for everyone. You really want to make this place better, don't you? I would love to. Well, I, I'd i like to help. Really? I could use some help, so that would be great. Let's go talk about it then. Over a cup of coffee and figure all this out. I think the people on the east side of town could really use a new park. Something for them to all get together. Something nice. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. We'll meet with the city planner and talk about building a new park. Yeah, I'm really happy to be here to help you out. Oh, hold on a second. Ugh my brother. Oh, well, aren't you gonna answer it? No, not this time. So, let's talk about the west side of town. What do we think we're gonna do there? Uh, is that your phone ringing again? <sighs> Yeah, and it's him. Look, let me just talk to him, okay? Of course, please. T take your time. Thanks. Listen, Doug, I'm really busy, okay? Yeah, well, I need to talk to you, man. What do you want? Dad, he's gone. What do you mean? Did he go to London or Paris again or something? No, Colt. Dad is dead. W what? You need to come home now. Hello? Doug! Doug! can't believe it's been a whole year. I feel bad. I feel like I barely talked to my dad or even got to see him. I fought the last time we talked. Hello? Hello? Where is everyone? Where is Doug? It's weird that he's not here. Freeze! Don't move! Hey, I'm not looking for any trouble. What are you doing in my house? Your house? This is my house! Don't think you're gonna get out of this one, man. Sick of people trying to rob this place. Look, look, look. Hold on. I'm sorry. This is this is a big misunderstanding. I thought my family lived here. Yeah, there's no misunderstanding, all right? I read the fine print. I bought this place fair and square. You bought the place? Did, did Doug sell it? Ah, Doug. I remember that guy. He was awful. Why? Why wouldn't he tell me? I don't know, man. It's not my problem. Wait a minute. You're the guy that uh, won the billion dollars, right? Yeah, that's me. Won a billion dollars, passed out on a game show, blah, blah, blah. Oh, dude. That's so awesome. I, I, I don't care. Get out of my house. He better pick up. Hello? Doug, where are you? I, uh, I'm at my new place. Yeah, you forgot to mention that you sold the house. I'm sorry. Uh, listen, can we just talk in person? Yeah, that's why I'm here, but I don't know where your new place is. Just go to 11 Main Street, okay? Fine, I'll meet you there. All right, 11 Main Street. This this can't be right. Wait, there he is. Doug, what is going on? Well, Colt, look around. This is uh, this is where I live now. This, this is unbelievable. But you sold the house. What happened? It's kind of a long story. Life went sideways and things changed and... Look, enough, okay? Enough of this. You've got to come with me now. I'm getting you out of here. Thanks for the clothes, Colt. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. No problem. So, are you going to tell me what happened? I, uh... Hey, look, you were right. I lost the house right away, and then Dad got sick right after, and he couldn't handle it. He just... He couldn't handle it, man. Hey, hey, calm down, all right? I did, I did what I, The only thing I thought I could do. I, the one thing I had left, it was the house, and I sold it to this rich guy, and... 
he split with dad, but now dad's gone and, and I'm just I'm just homeless on the streets. Look, I didn't mean for any of this to happen, okay? I'm sorry I left. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, man, you abandoned us. We were your family and you just you just left. I was trying to teach you something. Trying to show you that the way you guys were treating me wasn't right. Yeah, well, we learned our lesson, or at least I did. Thanks, though. Thanks for everything. I just, uh, uh I need to get my life back together. Well, I want to help you, okay? Looks like you could really need someone, and I'm your brother, so I'm here for you. Whatever you need, I got you covered. Got it? Wait, really? Yeah, of course. You can stay with me as long as you want, help you find a job, get your own place, whatever you need. I got you. Look, you talked about how badly you wanted your own place, so here, this is all for you. Wait, you got me my own place? This, this is great. It's obviously, it's a little smaller, but it'll do just perfectly. Yeah, just make sure you don't lose this one, okay? But you're not gonna move in too? Look, we're adults now. You're my brother and I love you, but I've got charity work to do. I'm gonna be so busy. Well, I was just hoping that, you know, you'd pay for it. Look, I'll help you with your first payment, but I'm not taking care of it anymore. You need to get a job at least, you know? I may have bought in this place, but I want you to pay for the mortgage. And if you don't, I'll just sell the house again. Come on, man. You're still as rich as you ever were. I need more than a month. Look, it's not about the money, okay? I work hard so I can give back to other people in some way. I'm giving back to you now. I'm trying to set you up so you can succeed on your own. I just haven't had a job in so long. Well, why don't you work with me and Keith? We could really use some help trying to fix up this town. Uh, I don't know about that. Look, what other option do you have? Really, think about it. Okay, uh, yeah, you're right. No, there's something I want you to do. I want you to take me to Dad's grave. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to him, and I don't even know where he's buried. Uh, about that, uh, it's just not ready yet, you know? They haven't even let me see it. What? What do you mean it's not ready yet? Yeah, he, um, he wanted it to be special for you. Anyway, yeah, I would love to be in your job. Uh, okay, great. We're gonna have a meeting tomorrow night. Why don't you meet us there? You really want to bring your brother into this charity? I mean, after everything you said about him. Hey, man, cool it. Yeah, he's right here, Keith. Look, I know I talked a lot of smack about Doug earlier, but he's on the up and up. He's changing. Well, from what you told me, your brother didn't really seem to like helping anyone but himself. Hey, man, are you gonna knock it off or what? I want to prove that I can. I just call it like I see it, kid. Look, I'm here to help, okay? I need a job and my brother's helping me. You gotta give me a chance before you just talk. Yeah, come on, Keith. We can trust him. I don't know. I've changed a lot, and all I want is this opportunity. All right, all right, fine, fine. We really could use the help anyways. Look, why don't you get started on this next big project, okay? Yeah, I'm ready to do anything. Look, Doug, this project is huge, and we can't mess up, okay? We have a hundred million dollars, and we're gonna use it to improve the town. A hundred million dollars? I can't believe that. All right, so the plan is we're gonna build a whole brand new neighborhood here. All these homes are gonna be given to the homeless people. They shouldn't just be left on the street forgotten about. It's crazy to think that I was just living here not too long ago. Yeah, I know. But you're on the up and up now. You're not gonna be living on the streets anymore either. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. You know, you're, you're a really good person. Uh, I'm trying to be. I guess that's really all that matters. Thanks for noticing, though. Oh, man, I totally forgot. I need to go to the bank. I've gotta call Keith and see if he'll make it anyways. Oh, uh, well, if you're stressed, uh, I can do it for you. Really? You will? I mean, I do kind of have to oversee everything that's going on here. Yeah, man, don't even worry about it. I'll make sure all the wiring and stuff goes through. <sighs> that's perfect. I'll call my accountant and make sure you have permission. Sign all the paperwork and stuff. Awesome. Don't worry. I got your back. Hey, sir, yeah, I'm here to do the transaction. Oh, you're Doug, right. Yeah, and actually, there's a change of plan, all right? My brother Cole actually wanted me to take all the money in cash. Wait, really? A hundred million dollars in cash? Yeah, don't make me repeat it. We're gonna take this to another bank, you hear me? No, 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 please, you can't do that. Cole's my best client. All right, well, this is very important, okay? So I'm gonna need this right now. For charity, after all. Yeah, of course. We don't usually do this really, really large amount of money, but all right, here. Awesome, thanks. I really appreciate it. It's in good hands. Ha, ah, look at this. My own private jet, finally. I'm gonna be set for life, dude. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> sure hope Doug is doing all right. I haven't heard from him recently. I'm starting to get a little worried. Colt, Colt, there's an emergency. All right, hold on, Keith, calm down. What's wrong? All the money, it's it's gone. What? No, no, there's no way. There must be some kind of mistake. No, there's no mistake. Your brother went to the bank and completely drained the account. Wh why? Why would he do that? I don't know, but he stole every single penny. I brother. He knew that was for charity. He said he would help me. He just betrays me like that? Steals the money? All those people we were gonna help. He stole from them too. You're not trying to freak out here, Colt, but I'm kind of freaking out. What are we gonna do now? Well, there's gotta be something we can do. First things first, we're going to find Doug. 
Come on, Doug, pick up. Yeah, sorry, can't pick up the phone right now. I'm just really busy. Got a lot going on. <sighs> to a voicemail again? Oh, he's got a lot going on? Oh, he's got a lot of nerve, that's for sure. Oh, when I see him, I'm just gonna give him a piece of my mind. What? Who's at the door? Oh, this better be Doug. D -d 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 Dad? Hey, Colt. Dad, you're, you're... What's wrong with you? It looks like you've seen a ghost. What? You're supposed to be dead. Is this, is this real? Dead? What are you talking about? I just came back from Paris. You were... What? Oh, yeah. I was in Paris, and then I went to Italy, and then I went to Greece, and then I went back to Paris, and now I came home. I heard you were in town, and I wanted to come by and say hello. Dad, I thought you were dead. Well, I'm totally fine. Why would you think I was dead? Because Doug told me you were dead. He did what? Yeah, he called me, told me you were dead, asked for help, and then stole a hundred million dollars from my charity. Doug has absolutely lost it. After you moved out, he started spending all of our money. It's like he went crazy, so I had to cut him off. You cut him off? No wonder why you're so desperate. Yeah, and I haven't heard from him in a long time. Doug's gotta be around here somewhere. He has my hundred million dollars I need to get back. We'll figure out what to do with your brother. Somebody's gotta set him straight. Oh, yeah, I saw your brother, Doug. He took off in the private jet for the company he said he was working for. What? We don't even have a private jet. <sighs> he probably bought it with the money. Yeah, he said it was for business. I mean, he bought like three or four. Three or four jets? For what reason? He said he likes color orientation. Oh, my gosh, my brother. Well, do you know where he went? Uh, no, he didn't really say anything. He just kind of took off. But I don't know. Maybe I can try and figure it out. Yeah, please. That would be a great help. I need to find him. And fast. There's a whole town of people that he he stole from. They need that money to change their lives. And he's stopping that from happening. So please, any kind of information you can give me would be the greatest help. Well, don't worry, Colt. Leave it to me. Keith, what's wrong? You barely touched your food. <laughs> Just freaking out, Colt. We really need to find your brother and get that money back. Yeah, I know that. I'm not gonna let these people go without home. So what are we gonna do? Well, I'm waiting to hear back from that airline employee. He said he was gonna do some digging and try and find out where my brother went. Well, I hope he figures it out fast. He seemed like a really smart guy. So I'm sure he'll figure something out. In the meantime, I sold my penthouse today. You did what? Yeah, got rid of the penthouse, sold a bunch of my stuff. At least that way we have enough to get started. But where are you going to stay? Well, I have a tent and I'll just stay at the construction site. Oh, that's insane. You're the CEO of the company and you're a billionaire. You shouldn't be sleeping in a tent at your job site. I don't really care. I will give up everything I have to help people and give back to them. And that's what I'm going to do. If I can't get the money back, then I'll go broke trying to help. Well, you can stay with me. At least you won't be sleeping at the job site. No. I don't want my brother messing anything up. If he finds out I'm staying with you, he might come and rob your place too. Well, if anything, why don't you stay with your dad? Still can't believe he's alive. Yeah, you know, that actually might not be a bad idea. Colt, you completed the first building for your project. Great job. <sighs> Thanks, dad. It's been a long, tough three months, but you actually made it happen. Have you got any news about your brother? No, but maybe that's a good thing. I still can't believe that boy crossing the line. Say I was dead. Dad, calm down, calm down. I know, I'm sorry. I just get upset that people love about it. Your brother's hurt a lot of people, including yourself. I hate to say it, but cool. You're, you're broke now. You put everything into your work. Yeah, but I don't care about the money. I'm just mad that my brother didn't do the right thing. He went behind my back and he stole from me and everyone else. I'm really sorry your brother did that. I take full responsibility being your father, raising him. Thought I raised him better. Dad, you did a great job raising us, okay? Don't blame yourself. Doug is doing all of this on his own accord. No one's making him do this. Look, and I know I wasn't really the best either. I know I got a little uh, money hungry at first, you know? <laughs> but I realized it was wrong, especially after seeing how upset it made you. Hey, I regret a lot, Colt. Dad, stop beating yourself up, okay? It's gonna be fine. I would just wish we could all be a family again. You, me, and Doug. Yeah, well, I don't know about your brother. Seems as though he wants nothing to do with this family. I'm really thankful that my dad is letting me stay here. For the last three months have been tough, but it's good to know I have some family left. Wait, I think this is the guy from the airport. Hello? Hey, is this Colt? Yeah, yeah, I'm Colt. Okay, good. We got a tracking on your brother. He took off on his plane again, and we were able to actually get the location this time. Time. Really? Where did he end up? He actually went through a few cities over. That's all I can really say. Well, thank you. This is incredible. All right, Doug. I'm gonna find you. Uh, perfect. Right on cue. Hey, Doug! Uh, uh, hey, Colt. Hey, man, how have you been? Are you enjoying all the money you stole? Uh, uh, what are you talking about? I don't have any money. Don't lie to me, Doug. I know everything. You stole that money from my charity. How else would you have been able to afford this private jet? I don't know, man. Things just happen. 
things just happen? Doug, what is wrong with you? You never used to be like this. You've turned into such a selfish and hurtful person. Not just to me, but to all those other people. What you're saying doesn't even make sense, Cold. Of course I care about other people. No, you don't. You care about yourself because there's more to life than money and things. And it seems to me that's all you're focusing on. Yeah, well, it's easy for you to say. You're the one that won all that money. Do you think that's fair? Of course it's fair. I won the money. I had to play a game show for it. I put in effort and I earned that, which is something you've never done. Well, you know what? The only people that you should be helping anyway is family. So thanks for that. You helped me a lot. You know what, Doug? I tried. And you turned your back on me. By the way, I also saw dad. So he's not dead. You lied to me about that too. Yeah, well, you lied to us, okay? You turned your back on both of us. You took all of your money with you. Look, Doug, now you have two choices. You can either give back the money that's left or get arrested. It's your choice. You know what? Fine. Here, make me broke again. I hope you're proud. So, Colt, how's everything going at work? Actually, things have been going really well, Dad. You've been helping a lot of people. And the charity's doing great work. Finally, seems as though people in the town are starting to be happy again. Have you talked to your brother? <laughs> Yeah, right, Dad. You know I'm not talking to Doug. Well, I saw him the other day. You did? Yeah. He's actually going through a hard time. He's homeless now. Really? What happened to him? I don't know. Your brother probably spent all his money or something. I was thinking, though. Kind of felt bad. Maybe we should help him? Not sure if we should even bother trying. What do you mean? That's your brother you're talking about. Yeah, my selfish brother. He never cares about other people but himself. He doesn't care when people help him either. Well, maybe this time he's changed. Yeah. We'll see about that. There he is. That is right. I think Doug is homeless. Hey, man. How are you doing? Colt? Uh, oh, my gosh. What are you doing here? Well, I I came to see you. I can't believe this happened again. Yeah, and it was all my fault. I messed up twice. I really messed up twice. I tried to help you, Doug. Don't even say anything else. I already know. This is all my fault. And you were right the entire time. I wish we could go back to the way things were. But I don't know if I can ever trust you again, Doug. No, no, I understand. Uh, rightfully so. I just, it's been so long since I've seen you or dad, and I just miss you guys. Yeah, I know. It's been five years. But I'm not going to leave you alone like this. What, you want to help me after everything I've done? Yeah, I do. I want to help you get back on your feet, but you need to do some of it on your own, too. I donated most of my money to the charity. I don't want or have a billion dollars to bail you out anymore, Doug. So what then? What would I do? Well, you can stay at one of the homeless shelters I built, and I'll drive you to some job interviews and I'll help you get back on your feet that way. That's all I would need. Seriously. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm sorry, man. You're my brother and I did some horrible things. Yeah, you did. But as long as you're willing to change, I'm willing to help. But it's up to you to become a better person now.